So David Cantor, Tank's agent, didn't even speak with the Cowboys at the Combine from our understanding, and I guess that's, you know, what, what was he going to say? Tell them to just bleep off again? But, I mean, where where are we right now with this Tank stuff? Is it basically a foregone conclusion as well as Amari that both of them are gone now, or is there any chance to salvage this with Demarcus Lawrence? Um, I mean, I think ball's in the court of the Cowboys now at this point. You know, they wanted the pay cut. They're not going to get it. And so at this point, it's, you know, a determination of, okay, so what do we do? Do we cut him pre-June 1? Do we cut him post-June 1? Do we see if we should just go ahead and restructure and, you know, balloon up his cap hit even larger than the $29 million it is in 2023? And so I think those are the things they're kicking around right now. I think that everybody involved at this point expects kind of a clean release pre-June 1. Um, but again, that one's been muddier than, than the Cooper situation. I, if the Cowboys can find a trade partner for Cooper, they'll do it. Um, this just sounds personal. One, I think this just sounds personal in the Mari. Doesn't it? There's, there's, with the Mari? Yeah, there's no, they can, they can manage the cap by keeping him. They, they still can. Like, it just sounds personal. I mean, they can flip their triggers if they want. They just, I don't think they want to do that. I, I think that they've been frustrated with some of the deals that they've gotten themselves into. Look, like you look at a team like Green Bay, who is 29 million over the cap or whatever it is that they are, they have a number of options for releases to easily get themselves over the cap um, because of the way their deals are structured. The Cowboys do all these, you know, switch flipping and everything else to where they don't have a lot of great options of guys to move on from and clear up space and. And things like that. And so I think they're just a little, you know, they, it's caught up to them a little bit, especially with the cap not growing at the same rate that they expected. And so I think at this point, they just they don't want to flip any more of those switches. They just want to get themselves straight. They, I think, are really frustrated by the Zeke deal and, and <laughs> the bind that that's put them in. It, yeah, I yeah. know. But I mean, you can, you know, I'm sure Plexico Burris was annoyed when he shot himself in the leg, like even though it was his fault. I'm sure he's like, third now that hurt, right? but that's my fault. So same sort of thing. I think that like the Cowboys, it's their fault. It's their own doing, but they're annoyed by it now that it's a reality. Yeah, we all are. As a matter of fact, Bobby Belt with us here uh, via the Diamond Factory hotline on your DFW Sports Station 105.3 The Fans. So with Amari leaving, does that in that ensures the, the Gallup return? And, and what do you feel like the numbers look like on, on the Gallup deal? So the Gallup, Gallup should be coming back. They're close, I think. Um, Number? The exact figures, it's not totally clear yet. Look, that's one of the interesting things I heard from some people this week is, you know, trying to figure out their priorities in terms of who do they want to bring back, Malik Hooker, J. Ron Curse, Randy Gregory, like people like this. The, the amount of times I heard that it was like, yeah, we want to bring him back, uh, but like just hold on for a little bit so we can figure out what our money looks like. Like, they didn't have figures to exchange with some of these people. Um, and so, like, I, I think that given where they're at financially, it's tough to kind of nail down exactly where they're at in some of these discussions. But I think as they make these moves with Cooper, potentially Lawrence, uh, when they go ahead and restructure Dak and, and look into some, you know, other areas, um, then they should have a better idea of where their money's going to be. Um, but I also think, like... It, we're trending closer towards the possibility of like Dalton Schultz getting tagged and that's going to oh, take up $11 million. Jeez. And so I think that we're just, I, I think you're looking at more and more of these things that could potentially complicate their money. So it's not totally clear yet where they're at with some of these deals on, in terms of what they're, they're looking at for annual value. Are they a better team by keeping Amari signing Gallup cutting tank and letting Gregory walk or cutting Amari and cutting tank and signing Gregory and Gallup. Um, I think, I mean, I think they're better if they keep Cooper and, and look like I love Randy, but I think they're better by keeping Cooper and Gallup. Probably that, that would just be in the immediate term. I think that's what they're better. And you can move Mike to the edge and draft a linebacker because they're easier that's, to see, replace. This is, it. This is a, everything that you do is just yeah. like, how can I get Mike to edge? How do I get Mike? How do I get Mike to Ken? Yeah, I know. Sorry. I just yeah. wanted to get to Ken. Excuse yeah, me. It's like, you know, Dak had left shoulder surgery and, you know, are just going, well, that's great because, uh, you know, they, they, they can't uh, hit him anymore in practice. Like, that would be really bad for that that shoulder. So, uh, Mike can't be at the linebacker and spine up. So, we'll just put him at defensive end. And so, like, there's yeah. always some connection for Chop to figure out how to get, get Mike in there. Man. I, think, right. I think he will play more snaps at edge next year. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, Bobby Belt with us here. 
via the Diamond Factory fan hotline. The Dalton Schultz likely to get it were trending closer to him, likely to get tagged, just has me um I think that's a hold, by the way. I think that's just something they're gonna try and like basically have a placeholder while they try and work out something that would lower that cap figure on an extension. So they you're you're basically saying they don't really have necessarily their numbers all together. I mean, isn't that kind of an organizational flaw right now? Wouldn't you think an NFL team should kind of know what they're doing with their cap numbers, especially one that continues to reiterate the salary cap anytime you ask them about any offseason moves? I think they have some general ideas. I just don't think they have a lot of specifics or um, exact figures that have been exchanged on some of these guys yet. Um, but I, th I mean, I think they have general ballpark targets and things like that. And I think there's an understanding from, uh, you know, the Cowboys and some of these agents as to where the general vicinity is. But yeah, I think they're, they're just, they're, they're not sure because of the factor of potentially the tag and who they're going to restructure and who they're going to let go and, and what exactly will be on their books. Um, you know, a lot of these meetings were taking place before they got the outright rejection from DeMarcus Lawrence about taking a pay cut. So that, you know, complicated them knowing exactly how much wiggle room they had. But uh, I think that, you know, they are getting things, trying to get their ducks in a row. And, and like I said, we should have a better idea, I think, this week as to exact figures and, and things like that. But, um, you know, I, I would hope they get the Gallup deal done this week uh, if, the, you know, they're... I think, like I said, I think it's getting closer to the idea that they're going to tag Schultz, but I think they'd work on a deal at that point. I think it's just to buy them some time. And then, uh, you know, I, I would expect the DAC restructure coming soon to free up some money. Um, but but honestly, I, I don't know. The, again, the muddiest one is I don't know what they're going to do with Tank in terms of how they're going to go about freeing up that money. I still think it's likely he's released, but I don't know which one they'd want to do that on pre-June one, post-June one. I can't imagine post-June one makes a lot of sense to them, even though they save 11 million more just because they need the money now. They don't need it in June. Right, right. Exactly. Then it doesn't really help you for, uh, for what you got to pay for right now. But uh, what about this Jarwin injury, Bobby? How bad is this? Bad enough that he's not going to be ready to play at the start of next year. Uh, and I mean, it's January or it's uh, January when everything was, starting to get going for him and then February when he had to have the surgery and so uh you know that's a a long recovery and it's a serious injury from everybody you talk to and you know maybe that's why the Schultz thing became more of a priority to go ahead and tag him and try and work on you know potentially getting an extension done um but I mean they're also you know hunting these tight ends a little bit um you know they they interviewed they had formal interviews with Isaiah Likely from Coastal Carolina at the Combine they had a formal interview with Charlie Kohler that's uh Iowa State tight end um, and so I know they had other informal meetings with a, a few guys, Jalen Weidermeyer, uh, from Texas A&M, um, the UCLA kid, I can't remember his name right now, but they had a, an interview with him. I think they had a informal with Trey McBride from Colorado state. So they're working on a lot of the tight ends. That's, that's a position they're looking at. Um, and so I think that that speaks to exactly where the, the seriousness of Jarwin's issue is right now. And do you have any idea what the genesis was was of this of this Jarwin injury? Like, was it from the season? Was it was he working out? That was yeah, it an no, offseason no, thing. All, it, from my understanding, it's all related to the injury that occurred against Minnesota, where he hurt, he hurt that hip and was out for a few weeks, and then rehabbed and came back and played a little bit at the end of the year. But it, my understanding is it's all tied back to that injury. Yeah.